Healthcare.gov down again over the weekend. Shocker. A House committee wants to talk to the top White House technology official, a man by the name of Todd Park, and they want to do that this week. South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy is on the Oversight Committee. He'll be part of that hearing later. He's with us now. Good morning, sir, from Spartanburg, South Carolina. A little bit of a delay on this signal for our viewers at home. What do you need to know from Todd Park? Well, initially, I want to know why we were promised a state-of-the-art website and we got an abacus and a sundial. I want to know what we got for our money. I want to know if this thing can be fixed in two months, why didn't you have it up and running in the three years you had prior to October the 1st? I, I, I want to know what we got for our money. And, and if this guy is the smartest guy in the class, which he is, we are told he is, he's a savant of sorts, why is he just now getting involved? Where has he been for the last three years? Well, the White House says, can't this wait? Meaning to you and Daryl Issa, he's got plenty to do right now and his hands are full. What would you say? Uh, Bill, if the president has time to play golf, which he does, and if Kathleen Sebelius has time to go to cocktail parties, which she does, then Todd Park ought to have time to come tell the people he works for why they got such a poor product after spending a half a billion dollars in three years. Do you expect that money to go higher? I mean, how much more do they need to spend to get it right? Well, if we want the product to work, they're going to have to spend because the first half a billion dollars didn't get the job done. It is... Uh, to say it's a train wreck is an insult to train wrecks. It, it's doing very, very poorly. So, yes, it needs to be fixed. Now, how much more money? Uh, who knows? Uh, that's one of the things hopefully someone will ask Mr. Park this week. Now, enrollment numbers are expected this week. I don't know if that's midweek or the end of this week, but what is your expectation when it comes to those enrollment numbers? Well, Bill, if the enrollment numbers were good, we would already have them. Uh, you and I both know that. So they're going to be dismal. The last estimate I saw was 1,100 people a day. I was not good in math, but out of 313 million people in the country, 1,100 a day means that we will get it done in about 800 years, which is a little later than I think people have a right to expect. Well, Jeffrey Zients, uh, he dropped a bomb on Friday afternoon when he came out pretty much. He's the guy that the administration brought in from the outside, from Bain Capital, to go ahead and fix the problems. Uh, he was quoted as saying that healthcare.gov is a long way from where it needs to be. Perhaps an understatement, but what is your sense about how much further and how much work and time is required now? Uh, well, as you noted in, in your opening, it was down again this weekend. It makes you wonder, Bill, whether they tested this product at all, which is where I'm going to go with my questioning. When you have three years and a half a billion dollars, it is not unreasonable to ask, when is the last time you tested this product end to end and what were the results? Because we have been led to believe that the results were abysmal. So why didn't they ask for a delay? We don't know how much more money is going to be involved. I, I, I know this. We haven't even gotten into the security. We haven't even gotten into whether or not your personal information is going to be protected. We're just trying to get on the website at this point. Now, what happens once you get on the website is not going to be pretty either. But after three years and a half a billion dollars and all the promises that we were made, I think people have a right to ask the smartest kid in the class what went wrong. The hearing on Wednesday, Todd Park will be the featured guest. Trey Gowdy from Spartanburg, thank you for your time on this yes, Monday. Sir. Okay.